Today's recipe is one of those unassuming ones that looks like something from the outside, but is something completely different within. Kind of like me. JK, lols, having such a good time up here. How are you? Let's dive in. Um, we're gonna start with a really uh, simple to make coffee mousse, and I'm gonna walk you through the recipe, and then we'll move on from there, because that's how recipe shows work. In a bowl here, I'm gonna add my egg yolks and my sugar. This is like a really good start for mousses, because it is, I don't know, their science. We're gonna beat that until they're pale and smooth. Okay, cool. Then, to that mixture, I'm gonna add my cornstarch, and I've got 2 thirds a cup of some warm milk. I'm gonna whisk that all through. Great, so now this mixture has to go in a saucepan because we wanna cook the eggs and we actually wanna thicken it. So I'm gonna pour it in here. Now I wanna get it to a medium heat and I'm just gonna bring it to a boil, whisking constantly. All right, look how creamy that gets. The egg yolks just do magic in the cornstarch. Okay, so I've got the right consistency. I'm gonna go in with my vanilla. And I've got these instant coffee granules. It's about one tablespoon. And I whisk that all in together. If you're not a coffee fan, omit it. If you wanna add a little bit of cocoa powder here, go for it, make a chocolate mousse. Perfect, so I'm gonna stir through all these granules. Get that nice, smooth consistency. Amazing, so I'm gonna let this cool only slightly, and over here, I've got a couple tablespoons of some cold water and a little bit of gelatin. And this is what's gonna make it so that our, um, so that our mousse is kind of set up a little bit better, because when I put the icing on top, I don't want the icing to actually sink into the mousse. So I'm gonna add the gelatin to the water, give that a stir to dissolve. Now this will take about five minutes to bloom. When it starts to look like this, I wanna get my coffee mixture back on a low heat, and I'm just gonna add in the gelatin and melt that through. So this is already, now all we have to do is add air to it. So I'm gonna get it off the heat, I'm gonna let it cool down just a little bit. All right, now we wanna whip up one cup of chilled whipping cream. Now I wanna incorporate the coffee mixture. Bring that guy over here. With a spatula, a little bit at a time. I don't wanna deflate my beautiful whipping cream. Beautiful, look at that color. I like that it lightens up. I like how airy it gets, and it smells amazing. Next step is getting yourself some mugs. I like the clear glass ones because you can actually see your mousse. And we are going to get it into our mugs, and then those have to chill for about four hours, or in my case, they're gonna chill overnight, and I'll show you how we ice them. Tomorrow, tomorrow, cut. I'm back, different day, same shirt. Did I shower? That's not a question you should be asking. But look at these! They sit so well, and you can see all the different air pockets. That's one of the reasons why I like the clear mugs. Okay, so a thing I did like 15 minutes ago was I went ahead and made this royal icing and put it into two different plastic bags. I've got a nice tan color, that's our latte coffee color, and then the white, which will be our foam. So now I wanna show you how to do the art portion of this. It's really simple. So we're gonna cut off a tiny little corner here of the brown, and I'm gonna just fill the top of each of my coffee mousses. And then grab a couple toothpicks. If you find you have any bubbles, you just use a toothpick, and we're gonna pop any of the air bubbles. Final step is taking the white. We're gonna snip a really small little hole here just so I have more control. And I'm gonna just start drawing. So I like doing kind of the traditional. I've got a heart, and then I do these semicircles underneath. And the reason I like the royal icing is that it just falls into itself, so it looks kind of a little more natural, perfect. Then grab your trusty dusty toothpick once again, and we're gonna pull all the way straight through the center. Then just to tidy up those side leaves, I'm gonna just pull them and repeat that with my second one. Amazing! You could eat these now or you could let them set, which I like doing for about three or four hours because they get a little bit crispy on the top and then you crack in and you get that good chocolate mousse. What is it? Coffee mousse. I don't remember. Today's a different day. I shouldn't be held responsible. Oh, this looks incredible. <gasps> and look how well the mousse held with all those bubbles. Mm -hmm. That's good. Good freaking job, Julie. You guys should make this. And you know what, thank you so much for watching. I hope you like this recipe and I will see you guys next time.